we propose RLE, a brand new regression paradigm with residual log likelihood estimation. In the field of human pose estimation, heat map is a very popular representation. Despite the excellent performance, it suffers from high computation and storage demands. If we want to learn 3D pose in the video, a 4D heat map is needed. Besides, heat map is hard to extend for high fidelity human body learning. For the SMPR parameters or the implicit function of close human, regression is a more suitable way. But conventional regression methods suffer from inferior performance in pose estimation. In this work, we look into this problem and propose a brand new regression paradigm. With our method, regression can obtain better performance than heat map. Let's start with conventional regression. In the conventional method, L1 and L2 laws is directly applied to the model output. And we don't have a guide to choose the proper loss function. It is only based on our experience to choose the loss. But when we look into this problem from the perspective of maximum likelihood estimation, different regression losses are actually different assumptions of the output distribution. The network is predicting a density function that indicates the probability of the regression value. If we assume the predicted density function is a Gaussian distribution, the network can predict two values, mu and sigma, to represent a Gaussian distribution. If we assume the variance is a constant, the MLE loss becomes a standard L2 loss. Similarly, if we assume the distribution is a constant variant Laplace distribution, the MLE loss is actually the standard L1 loss. Therefore, choosing a group regression loss is essentially choosing a group distribution family. Then we start wondering whether the regression performance will get better if we use a model to learn a suitable distribution rather than manually predefine the type of the distribution. So the key idea of our work is to use normalizing flows to automatically learn the output distribution. Normalizing flows are a family of generative models with chattable distributions where both sampling and density evaluation can be efficient and exact. Normalizing flow can transform a simple probability distribution into a more complex distribution by a sequence of differentiable mappings. The density of a sample can be evaluated by transforming it back to the original simple distribution. Normalizing flows can be applied to high-dimensional data in the same way. Based on this equation, we can see that a normalizing flow requires the transformation function f is invertible. Besides, the determinants of the Jacobians for the transformation function should be easy to calculate. In this work, we adopt real MVP as the flow model. The determinants of the Jacobians for real MVP is easy to calculate, and it allows fast evaluation. With real MVP, we can design a method to learn the density function. The basic design is let the regression model regress the position and the standard deviation. These two parameters can define a Gaussian distribution. Then we can use normalizing flows to deform the Gaussian distribution into a learnable and arbitrary complex distribution. But this pipeline is not feasible because the distribution is conditioning on the input image. 
If we train the model directly, the normalizing flows will capture the distribution across all images in the dataset. That's not the distribution we want. To construct a feasible pipeline, we decouple the image condition by reparameterization. We assume all the underlying distribution share the same density function family, but with different mean and scale. The flow model only needs to learn the zero mean distribution, and we shift and rescale the distribution based on the regression output. In this way, we can construct a learnable distribution and train the regression model and the flow model simultaneously, with maximum likelihood estimation loss. We call this method Direct Likelihood Estimation, DLE. DLE is feasible, but it's not good enough, because the training of the regression model totally depends on the distribution learned by the flow model. When we train the model from scratch, the distribution is far from correct, and it will damage the training of the regression model. So we further propose RLE, residual log likelihood estimation. Assume p-optimal is the distribution we want to learn. We can split it into three terms. The first term, qx, is a simple and chattable distribution. For example, a Gaussian distribution. The second term is the residual log term. It describes how the simple distribution, qx, changes to the optimal distribution. The last term is the constant term. It is used to rescale the second term and make it be a density function. In RLE, we think the distribution QX is basically correct, but not perfect. So instead of fitting the original distribution, we let the flow model to learn the change of the distribution. That is the residual term. In this way, at the beginning of training, even the flow model learns nothing, the distribution is basically correct, and the regression model can learn quickly. Besides, just like the idea of ResNet, learning the residual will be easier than learning the original mappings. In experiments, we found RLE improved conventional regression method a lot. In 2D human pose estimation, the MAP is improved from 58 to 71. We further compare our regression method with heatmap-based methods. As shown in the right table, ILE improves all kinds of heatmap-based methods. Here shows the qualitative results on COCO dataset. Our regression method achieves good performance even facing occlusions, truncations, and motion blur. In the COCO test set, ILE achieves state-of-the-art performance. It is the first time that regression-based method obtains better performance than the heat map-based methods. In 3D human pose estimation, ILE also obtains excellent performance. We compare the proposed regression paradigm with both single-stage and two-stage state-of-the-art methods. For single-stage, our method achieves comparable performance to the state-of-the-art methods while largely reducing the computational complexity. For two-stage, our method also achieves state-of-the-art performance. To examine how the assumption of output distribution affects the regression performance in the context of MLE, we compare the results of different density functions with our method. We found that when the output distribution can learn to be more accurate, the regression performance will be better. When facing truncations, Regression-based method can infer the joints outside the input image, while heatmap-based methods fail. 
This characteristic of regression-based methods made them robust to the crowded scenes, where human detection methods always fail. RLE is a general method and can be applied to different regression tasks. In addition to human pose estimation, RLE can be used to regress SMPR parameters, implicit function, and even general regression problem like retinal segmentation. Our code and models are available. Welcome to our poster for more technical details. Thank you for listening.